Okay, what's up everyone? In this video, uh, I'm just going to show simply how I set up and gut load my feeder crickets. Uh, this one I'm going to do baby crickets, you know, like a pinhead to juvenile. I'm not going to do adult, adult crickets, so I'll do a separate time. But uh, here we go. I just keep them in this little keeper here. Yeah, this is it. It's uh, pretty small. Let me just move this by. That's, you know... Look at the size of my hand compared to it. Real tiny cage, they don't need a lot of space. And here I have about 25 to 30 baby crickets. Don't know if you can see them in there. I know you see the little things moving, but uh, hard to see detail. Anyways, so basically I just take, you know, this is a toilet paper roll. Well, this is where it came from. Paper towel roll, sorry. And uh, I just cut out little parts of it, you know. Crickets do need something to hide in, especially baby crickets. They get stressed out, eat each other, and die a lot quicker. And will be total use, totally useless if you do not give them something to hide in. So I'll just put one in that corner, one in this corner. There you go. Also, I need a water bowl, a little spring water top, bottle cap. That's all I use. Take that right there. And uh, I don't actually put water anymore. I used to. Now I use a cricket gel. So you take this stuff here, right? Looks like uh, real gooey and stuff. Put that in there. There you go. See that? That works like a charm. Drop that right in there, right in the middle. There, they're all happy off of that. Alright. Uh, this that part. Now I'm going to drop some food in there before I put the crickets in there. So like I was saying, I use uh, I like to use these orange cubes. I drop a couple in there for them to eat. And uh, they work like, they work pretty great. They love them. One second. Alright, so I'm just going to... One right here on this side. That's basically all I really need for baby crickets. I'm just going to drop another one in there just to be safe about it. Because they don't eat the entire, they usually don't eat this entire cube. So uh, I usually just cut them in half or just drop one big one in there and I'll be good. But uh, that'll last uh, a couple days. Eventually it'll harden up to the point where they can't eat it. So you do have to change it every couple of days. And that uh, that gel there also, forgot to mention, that'll be gone. That's usually gone with these, uh, I usually get 20 baby crickets at a time. Because I'm only feeding two swings right now. But uh, that usually lasts with that many crickets about... Two days, three days max, if it even lasts that, that long, you know? So, uh, you really got to maintain and uh, refill their food, check on them every other day at least. I mean, it doesn't have to be an everyday thing. You can leave them alone for about two, three days, but at least check on them every few days, you know? Make sure they got food in there because they will eat each other. Crickets are cannibals. You can watch my other video, Cricket Cannibalism, if you do not believe me. They do eat each other if they are hungry. So, uh... And uh, you know, that's it on that. No, oh, one more thing also. You don't really have to do this, but I do. I just like to make sure they're as good as possible. I also take this stuff here. It's uh, another type of cricket food. Real good for uh, calcium and uh, their vitamins and stuff. You know, I, I take a little chunk of that. You know, that much is pretty good. I'll drop some, like, right here in this corner. And, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Doesn't matter though, it's alright. And I'll drop some in this corner. Now there you go. This is perfectly good for these baby crickets to live of. Definitely a couple weeks, few weeks. I can I can raise them off of this right here. So uh now I'm just gonna actually drop the crickets in there. Before I do, I'm gonna put the top on. Open it up. You know, from right there, make it easier for me. Drop them in there. You will probably see them immediately go to eat or hide. That's all they do. And snap into place, nice and tight. There you go, everyone. A nice little home for my feeder crickets. And they're going to live, well, they're going to get very nicely gut loaded off of this. They got plenty of food in there for all of them. They got their hydration. The orange cubes are not only food, they're food and hydration all in one. So they have the food source, the food and hydration source, and the hydration source. So uh, 
they're pretty much good. These crickets, I will not have to worry about finding. I might find one or two dead the most by the end of the week or something. But, uh, you know, that's just natural. You can't do anything about that. All right, so that's pretty much it, everyone. Just check on them, you know, every three, four days. Make sure you got it like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Later.